What's up foodies? Back in the kitchen again and today we're doing a bit of budget food. Uh, this is just 99 pence and it's a bit of uh, Taste of Italy via Morrison's. I'm going to be doing this spaghetti carbonara. That looks delicious. That is, when I take my missus out for the yearly anniversary romantic meal, we generally go to an Italian restaurant and she is a plain spaghetti bolognese girl and I like a spaghetti carbonara. So, sorry if I'm squinting at you, the sun is gleaming in the kitchen window, it's a fantastic day out there. Um, yeah, so we will have a fantastic uh, weekend. Um, back to work tomorrow, so, because it's Sunday today, well, it's not Sunday as I'm filming, but it's Sunday now when this is coming out. Planning ahead. Always planning ahead, me. Um, yeah. Enough rubbish by me. I'll, uh, let's have a look at this box. So this is the box. Like it says there, spaghetti with a creamy bacon and cheddar cheese sauce. Yeah, that's it. I love, I love carbonara. I don't, sometimes I like the spaghetti a bit thicker, but we'll see. There's a the traffic light system, so it's 400 grams, 468 calories, two reds, an amber and one green. So it's not great, to be honest, but it's not pretending to be healthy. It's um, microwaves from frozen for eight and a half minutes, which is this is. It's not pretending to be healthy, it's just uh, Morrison's own. We got any instructions, any details? That's how you cook it. So actually, microwave is the best way to do it. For best results, microwave from frozen. So, about eight and a half minutes, PS film the lid, and crack on. There's no nutritional information. Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> so, there is the ingredients. So you've got a few allergens, milk, wheat. That's it, milk, a lot of milk, 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 wheat. 6% bacon, 40% spaghetti, 3% cheddar cheese. So there's the nutritional information in more detail for you people that are interested in that. I'm not too fussed at the moment. Produced from, from Morrison's from Danish, Dutch and British pork. So Danish bacon, Dutch bacon. Let's have a look at it. I like that that they've got a little a little hole there where you can just and there it is. So we've got to pierce that. Eight minutes. I'll bring you back when it's done. So farm foods have just posted this through the door. <laughs> Looks like some incredible bargains. It says there that spam fritters are new. They've been around for a long, long time. I might have to venture over though. There's some interesting deals on there. Farm foods. It's a bit of a trek from where I live, but, but looking at that, it might be, might be worth it. So, enough of that. I'll tell you what, I'm just digressing here, right? I'll, I'll, this whole video. It's in there, it's in the microwave now, and uh, this is my opportunity to plug the channel. Just Dino, it's just me. If you like it, this sort of video, all the walking videos that are coming up, just give it a like, and uh, if you want to subscribe, it doesn't cost anything, it's totally free. Subscribe, it's down there or down there, I can't remember which way. It's, we <laughs> it's, what, it's somewhere, it's in what corners. <laughs> Hit that subscribe, and uh, if you'd like to see what I get up to on a daily basis, go follow my Instagram. I'll put the, the what do they call it, the handle, the at here. The link's in the description as well. So, I'll bring you back when this is done. So here it is bubbling away. I've actually given it seven minutes, because it's, I reread the instructions, and the eight minutes was for a, 750 watt microwave, 850 watt microwave. So I also did say five minutes and stir, but I haven't. So I'm probably gonna just give this a quick, yeah, I'm gonna give this a quick stir and put it back in for a minute. 
because you need that spaghetti to be covered with the sauce. So I'll bring you back in a minute. So that is more like it. Look at that. Plenty of bacon in there. Nice big thick bits of bacon. The cheese sauce and the... Oh, it smells. It smells delicious. Let's get it onto this plate. You could even add some of your own, some more cheese on top, some, some mozzarella or cheddar or something on top, couldn't you, if you wanted to. That is it. 400 grams of goodness. <laughs> right, it's time for a taste. So let's have a taste of this. Now, sometimes I cut it up like this and just use and crack on like that. And that would probably be the way I would go. But the actual Italian way is what is this what is this technique called? Where you uh roll like that. What is that technique called? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let's have a taste. So let's get into it, taste it. Oh the battery's going on the camera. Wow, that's delicious. This it's fantastic. You can really taste the, the cream cheese, the, the bacon, you can taste that smokiness of the bacon. Mm. I love carbonara. The bacon is really nice, thick, big pieces. This one on the 99 pence, remember? Wow. It's so cheesy. The bacon is really smoky, I've said that, but you just got to get it across, it's beautiful. Mm. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. It's a delicious 8.5 out of 10, that from me. That is super. What's this technique called? In Italian. I mean, I'm probably butchering it. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 99 pence. Can you believe it? Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.